so today I'd like to show you how to solve difference equations in Octave okay and uh, solving this is quite easy this would be a pretty small tutorial and uh, before we actually get into solving difference equations uh, I'd like to just show you a small concept okay so so um, this is my difference equation it's a very general form of a difference equation okay so you can see I have a0 y of uh, n plus a sub 1 y of n minus 1 plus a sub 2 y of n minus 2 all the way to a sub capital N y of n minus capital N equals uh, b sub 0 x of n plus b sub 1 x of n minus 1 all the way to b sub a capital M x of n minus capital M okay what I'll do next is I will take out the a sub 0 y of n term out of the summation sign I will take that out like this you can see that I've done that in the second term and so my summation would change from 1 to n 1 to capital n okay, and the rest remains the same next I will take this summation to the right hand side so I'll get uh, summation the, the the x summation minus the y summation okay and finally I would divide the entire equation by a sub 0 okay so finally I get this term okay I would get I, I get this term okay uh, wh what does this show us it, it actually represents um, the output in terms of the present value of input the past values of input and the past values of output um, how do we know this um, we can see that this contains uh, this when you have k of 0 this would be b0 x of 0 so uh, x of n sorry this would be b0 x of n so that is the present value of input it also contains x of n minus 1 terms x of n minus 2 terms okay so that gives us past values of input and we also have x y of n minus 1 1 y of n minus 2 all the way to y of n minus capital n so those are past values of our output right so we get the input uh, sorry we get the output in terms of the present values of input the past values of input and the past values of output okay so this form of the difference equation is called uh, the recursive form so the recursive form um, uh, is how octave actually solves uh, difference equations it, it represents uh, the equation in uh, in uh, in in recursive form we also need to supply initial conditions and it recursively uh, puts in values okay and uh, finds out values of y of n so this is also talked about in uh, section 2.4.2 of uh, Oppenheim and Wilski so uh, you can just you can just refer the text textbook for that okay and as an example in octave I'm going to solve this difference equation so this is my difference equation y of n uh, minus uh, 0.5 y of n minus 1 equals x of n and my input x of n would be the unit step okay and my initial condition y of uh, y minus 1 is minus 2 okay so let's just solve uh, solve the difference equation okay okay so what I'd first do is I would store the coefficients of uh, y you can see the coefficient of y is 1 okay a0 is 1 and a1 is 0 point minus 0 0.5 okay so this is my y oops so okay great coefficients of x is just one there's just one coefficient of x right and uh, next what I okay and also we need uh, Oh, sorry this should have been a b okay this should have been b next what i'd say is uh, my input right my input is a unit step so i give a unit step let's say approximate to just uh, 50 50 sequences okay great uh, finally i would uh, i would want to know okay so i also said that the initial condition so initial condition is equal to minus 2 right so this is my initial condition okay so next what I do is um, I need to know how this initial condition affects the difference equation we don't really have a difference equation solver uh, I mean at least I don't know of any uh, difference equation solver as such in octave what we use is we use a function called filter okay and uh, the use of this would be uh, would be more obvious when we actually study filters in uh, DSP and also filters I, I believe at the end of uh, signals and systems so filter is a function which uh, when you give it an input okay um, it represents a filter and we see how that filter affects the uh, affects the input and gives us an output okay so that's what filter does but we also need to know how our in initial conditions affect the filter so we use a function called filter ic and we give in the coefficients of x 
the coefficients of y and we give our initial condition okay and we say this is equal to let's just call this ic okay and this will give us the initial condition for our filter okay let's just imagine it that way so first the first uh, uh, argument is the coefficients of x the second uh, argument is the coefficients of the y terms and we have our initial conditions on y okay so this will give us our initial conditions for the filter okay and next we'll just solve for y so y is equal to filter b comma a okay comma the input uh, the input uh, of our the input to our difference equation so we've given our unit step over here and finally the the initial conditions we just calculated okay and this is my y okay great did i get it right i think i did okay anyway so let's just stem plot it so this would be y okay great so this is my output right so if i get if i have so what i did uh, i first i first uh, gave the coefficients of y i gave the coefficients of x okay and uh, I found I submitted I, I gave them the input the input uh, to the difference equation the input to the system okay I also gave the initial condition then what I did is I calculated some initial condition on the filter okay and finally I found the output like this okay I used the filter function to find the output okay so these are my steps okay this is the summary of the steps I used okay and obviously I just finally did a stem plot and i get this okay so this is my output to this uh, to the unit step okay and you can use other uh, other inputs and you know you can you can similarly find find out uh, the outputs to various inputs so that's how you really solve a difference equation very simple uh, it's not uh, nothing much to it okay and i'd like to also show you one more function okay so you know we have the difference equation in terms of b and a okay and suppose we want to find the impulse response to the system so we use a function called uh, impz okay and uh, i give b and a and i also give uh, the number of uh, the number of uh, uh, i would like to know how many uh, how many values of the impulse response uh, I, I want i want i want octave to tell me so if i want uh, let's say 10 values of the impulse response i want to know uh, 10 values in the sequence of h, h of n so i say this right what did I do wrong here? Okay, so so I what I say is I say uh, h for my n. Okay, so equals this, right? So what it does is it gives me the values of h. Okay, and it gives me a time base. Okay, so so that's what it does. So my impulse response. So if I just do a stem plot h is like this okay so this is my impulse response for the difference equation i just uh, for this difference equation okay so that's that's it for uh, this week so that's how you solve difference equations and i also showed you how to find the impulse response when you're given a difference equation okay okay so that's it